Hey guys, not here again, and I'm going to be talking about demonology warlocks and mythic dungeons here. Now, something I hear all the time is that people just don't do well in dungeons in general, and that they struggle with movement, and that they just aren't taking a group simply because of the fact that they're a warlock. And I don't think this should be the case at all. There are definitely plenty of times warlocks are great no matter what spec, and in this video I'll be going over some things to pay attention to when your demonology, when doing any di any type of dungeon, just to maximize your potential DPS. Alright, first things first, you should be trying to end the pull with as close to 5 shards as possible. Now this just means you can immediately get into a decent rotation without having to rebuild your surge back up to a range where you can actually cast Hand of Gul'dan into the implosion combo. So in any pull basically with two or more mobs, you'll want to do your Hand of Gul'dan implosion combo as soon as possible. Now this just allows you to have an immediate upfront damage and also have your next implosion not so far away while your first set of imps is actually dealing damage to whatever mob you casted it on. Now, if there's a pack with three or more mobs, of course, you should be casting Demon Wrath as your generator, no matter what. It's just better damage and charge generation, period. No questions asked. Now, in any trash pull that is just single target, of course, try to maximize your single target damage. Just forego using Implosion unless there's any more mobs that spawn in order to make use of the AoE. Otherwise, you can basically play like Implosion isn't there and do fine. If there's any movement required to avoid any kind of mechanic or any bad stuff on the ground or whatever it is, basically just think about it this way. If you're going to be moving for more than two seconds, cast a Demon Wrath. Maybe you'll proc a shard. If it does, I mean that's awesome. You should just got a free shard for moving. If you're going to be moving for less than that or if it's just one global, I would suggest casting any kind of instant. In our case, we just basically have life tap or doom so that you're always following the ABCs of casting. Alright, so for this boss, it's pretty much single target only, except for when he spawns an ad periodically. So for the most part, you'll play with a normal rotation without imploding, but only until he spawns the ad, which needs to be killed as soon as possible. When that ad is spawned, just simply target it, press implosion, and that's where the snap burst comes in real handy from implosion. Obviously, it doesn't hurt that it cleaves the damage also back to Millhouse, so you're still doing damage to the boss no matter what. Now there isn't really much else to comment on for this boss fight, and the coming trash pulls are basically the same as the first set. So I'll just let you watch me kill the trash and finish this boss while still being helpful no matter what I'm doing here. I clearly mess up during some parts of this, and other times I don't, but no matter what I'm still able to contribute to the DPS without being a hindrance. If you don't want to watch this, I'll include a skip as well, so you can go right to the next boss.
Alright, so I just want to give you guys a forewarning for this boss. Uh, it took a long time because basically the whole entire party died except for me, the tank, and the and the healer. Um, the healer did die 1.2 and I had to res them, so it's definitely a bit of a mess of a fight. Uh, the only thing to take away from it is a single target. You have to run around and get away from the ice block so you don't get ice blocked. Uh, there was definitely a point where I got ice blocked when I thought it was LOS, but apparently gnome legs are a lie. Um, it's basically a snooze fest of a fight, so if you want to skip it, I'll give you the option for you here as well in annotation. Okay, so Trash is back here, and it's just more of the same. Honestly, there's nothing special to note except for any of the Trash Packs from here until the last boss. So if you want to watch it, go for it. If you don't, I don't feel bad. 
it's the same thing that you've watched already. I'll give you the skip option here if you prefer. Alright, so the last boss of this instance, Violet Hold. Simple single target fight, just with some random pull-ins and spiders that fixate onto you. You can avoid that mechanic entirely by just looking into their direction, it stops them dead in their tracks, and you don't have to worry about anything else, just do damage. Um, otherwise, it's fairly simple. I'm just gonna basically bring us to the end of this video here. I'll let you watch from here, see how you see the fight progresses. Um, I don't think I ended up being too terribly bad on this fight in particular. Uh, I just hope that this is going to help people out in their dungeon woes and hopefully improve your guys' knowledge of how to actually play demonology with, within an instant setting. Have a good day guys.
Thank you.